Hey, hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's good to see you. It's been a while. How have you been? Hmm. Nice, nice. That is so cool. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been to a New Year's party. Yeah, you too. Yeah, it's nice to do it again. I haven't had a New Year's party like this since the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable, but there comes a time where uh, we got to get together and celebrate again every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, what's new? What have you been up to? surviving yeah yeah same it's been uh it's been tough out there yeah it's it's been nuts we've all been struggling one way or another but no matter how much that is the case collectively it is a part of life but it doesn't have to be that much a part of our life and I'm hoping that we're all able to have a better year in 2024. Of course, my last year of 2023, if I'm being perfectly honest, has been one of my better years as of late. Yeah, if I may, I, uh, I made more progress to better myself. I got therapy again. I um, have been a lot more consistent with working out, been getting better sleep, and I've been able to helpfully put boundaries between myself and the people in my life. And most of them have been respectful of that. I can't say everybody has. I won't name names, obviously. There's always going to be people try not to allow you to have boundaries but you don't need that negative energy in your life you really don't but those who you do want to have in your life will respect said boundaries and I hope they have boundaries in you too it's just part of being in healthy relationships whether it be romantic friendships professional family you name it Never forget that every healthy relationship is going to have boundaries. And I don't mean setting boundaries for the sake of centering boundaries. It's knowing what is healthy for you and what's healthy for the other person. Exactly. You never be afraid. Never be afraid. No matter how understandable said fear is, don't let that stop you from setting boundaries and taking actions to help you better your life and better the lives around you even if they think that that's not the case you know it's part of being a human being you're a human you're not a puppet and that's uh, one of the big takeaways that I've had in 2023 and I hope it's one of the big takeaways that you have in 2024. And one that I continue to exercise into 2024. Oh, this? Yeah, this isn't even a real martini. Yeah, this is water. I'm watching my health a lot more too. And this is where I start, where I have the appearance I'm drinking a martini. I know. I know that's lame, but it's actually not bad. That's another thing. Don't be afraid to do things that you enjoy, even if people are going to judge you for it. Like listening to music. If you enjoy Nickelback, damn it, listen to Nickelback. Who cares, right? 
I don't even think Nickelback's that bad. I, they're definitely not one of my favorites, but they're all right. They're all right in my book. But uh, nothing's going to come anywhere near Foo Fighters. I stand by that. Oh yeah, people do this on set all the time. Even in James Bond films, they'll have water in a martini glass because they can't be drunk on set. It doesn't make any sense. If they're drunk on set, that's going to affect the entire performance. And you might say, well, they can method act. They could be actually drunk, so they're more to the character. But how often do you see James Bond drunk from a martini? The guy could drink an entire bottle of pure vodka and be sober from it because James Bond drinks so much that his tolerance is just that high, I swear. Yep. It really is an interesting cocktail, though. I like it because of the olives, mainly. I love olives a lot. I always get at least two olives. So do you have any goals or resolutions for the new year? And I know everybody sets resolutions because they're supposed to, or maybe they don't because they're sick of having to do it because they're supposed to do it and no one ever actually does it. But what's some things that you realistically can do in the next week or so to improve the quality of your life? Something small, like maybe taking out the damn garbage <laughs> or going for a stroll, go outside, get some fresh air, get some sunlight. You know, a colleague of mine once said that you got to go outside, get some sunlight and drink water because, quote, you're basically a plant with more complex emotions. And she was absolutely right. We are basically plants with more complex emotions. We gotta stay hydrated. We gotta get sunlight. It's just the way it is. Gotta get that vitamin D. Mm -hmm. It helps. It helps a ton. Oh yeah, I notice it. I notice a huge difference. Whenever I stay in all day, I feel miserable. But that doesn't stop me from doing work at home. <laughs> yeah, I work from home and in the office, back and forth on a hybrid. But I don't really get lonely. I guess it's because I'm an introvert, but I don't really get lonely when I'm working from home and I don't feel stuck in my home because when I take a break, I just go for a walk around the house, come back, feel refreshed. And I do the same thing when I'm in the office. When it's break time, I tend to go outside, go for a short walk, get some fresh air, get some sunlight. And then I come back, I feel refreshed. And then I freaking dominate my work. <laughs> yeah. If you have friends who are incapable of walking, maybe take them outside in a wheelchair. Let them uh, push their way through the stroll. They could get some like too. Win win. It's not limited to people who are fully able-bodied. If it was, that would suck. But I want everybody to be able to do this in some way or form. And if I can't, I want somebody who's close to them to help them. So, any 
anything excited that you have done in this last year that you'd like to recap? Did you make any music? Did you write any poems or stories or books? Did you travel somewhere? Did you make an ASMR video you're really proud of? I don't know. Maybe you went bungee jumping. I did that. It was a lot of fun. I'm not encouraging anybody to go bungee jumping. Unless they really want to, then I encourage it. <laughs> but it was one of the more fun things that I did this year. Maybe because I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. I love a good thrill. That's why I'm also a big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's the thrill. I absolutely love it. I love accelerating experiences. It's why I love to jog. It's why I love to hike. It keeps me going, you know? Yeah, I do spend a lot of time indoors too. A lot of time gaming. A lot of time working on things, hanging out at Twitch chats. I love it all. But I feel empty if I don't balance it out with being outside. I'm not here to preach outside life, but it works for me. And maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it has been working for you. Who knows? But yeah, I'm excited for this new year. We're going to count down at midnight, and then we're going to go ballistic and throw champagne, confetti, and silly string everywhere. It's going to be a pain to clean up, but it'll be worth it, because it's a thrill. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That was a really good Moctini. That's what I'm going to call it, a Moctini. <laughs> I'm sure other people have called it that before. Well, I better help the host with setting up dinner. And I'll see you around. Stay chill.